This is for you, Amy. Hi y'all, this is Larry from Deep South Texas. And this video is a Cherokee Tan versus Seminole Pumpkin collab. And this collab is being organized by Danny and Wanda at uh, Deep South Homestead and Crazy Days. And you'll be able to find the other videos in a playlist over there as, as they are recorded. I received my Cherokee Tan pumpkin seeds from Deep South Homestead late in uh, 2018. I was the lucky winner of a 50,000 subscriber giveaway and one of the gifts in that uh, giveaway was a package of Cherokee Tan Pumpkins. So I've had my seeds for a while and I may have a little bit of a jump on some of the other people in the collab. I live at the very southern tip of Texas. It is uh, Garden Zone 9B. I'm a homesteader wannabe on about a 1.7 acre piece of land and I have a small garden there. I started my seeds in four inch or three inch containers oh, back in February. I put uh, two seeds in each of four containers and I thought they were never going to germinate but after two weeks they came up all of them came up just fine and they grew relatively rapidly after that. I had them outside uh, late in February and early in March to harden off and we got a little bit of a freeze the first, uh, the first week in March and it, it, set, uh, it set the pumpkins back. In fact, I lost one of the plants at that time. But they continued to grow well. Although they lost some of their outer leaves, they continued to grow and I eventually ended up planting them. And I planted them in a six foot by four foot raised beds that I had prepared with uh, 12 10 10 fertilizer, some garden lime, and then I had covered it with uh, an inch or two of composted uh, chicken litter. And they were planted in the garden about the third week of March and have been doing, uh, doing well ever since, although we did lose one other one. We'll see that on, on some of these clips coming up. This bed is ready to plant. I am going to be planting the Cherokee Tan Pumpkins the seeds I received from uh, Deep South Homestead in this bed. The Cherokee tan pumpkins for the most part are looking, pr looking pretty good. I did have one that uh, some animal managed to uh, take a bite right out of the bottom of the stem. So I think that one's no more. It'll be coming out. And the Cherokee tan pumpkins are uh, taking over the garden. We had a couple, a couple blooms last week, and uh, I can get a picture. This one looks like it's setting on. This one looks like it's setting on a pumpkin, and I think that that pumpkin looks good. There was another one earlier that looks like it's uh, it's drying up, so I don't think we'll get anything off of that one. But uh, that one pumpkin looks good, and there may be more in there, but there's no pathway to get back and look. And in fact. They've, uh, they've been growing down this path as well. And I think they're sneaking into the other half of the garden. Looking good. So when the Cherokee Tans first started putting on flowers, they were all female flowers. I was confused. Usually 
this type of plant uh, puts on male flowers for a couple weeks before the female flowers show up. So well, luckily, uh, a few days later, some male flowers started showing up. So we're well on our way now, and we'll have uh, an update at the end of this growing season. I look forward to seeing how all the other participants in the collab fair on their pumpkins this year. I'll have an update in uh, at the end of the season, which will be pretty early for me. <laughs> and we'll check out and compare notes on how things went. Thanks Danny and Wanda for organizing this collab and we'll see you again later.